guys your favorite niece Jen here I'm gonna um, be giving shout outs to the people I missed in the last video Capo Dean Dial, Peral Prasad, um, Miss Rose, Vidya Ramjas, Girl Meets World, Koi Girl, Benedict, Tara Lala, Cecilia Prasad, Poanita Lakaram, Uma Basant, Jean Jalcharam, Maria Mahadeo, Vake, Lisa Arjun, Sherida Prasad, Hemala Singh, Guyanese Family Life, Nalini Sadalu, Ronald Rupert, Noodle Filner, Anan Lokaf, and Sita Bihari. Bye! Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's your local family with Rita and Krishna. I hope everyone is having a good day. Thank you in advance for watching and we hope that you enjoy this video. Please subscribe to our channel and share with everyone. Hello, hello everybody. How is everyone doing there? Happy December, right? We're in the month of December already. Can you believe it, Rita? Yes. It's almost uh, Christmas already and guess what? We're going to be making a pong of a cake here. Getting ready for Christmas, right? Starting early, early. So here I got my dozen of egg. Here I got a pong of sugar, pong of flour. These are my ingredients, right? Ground nutmeg, uh, ground cinnamon. We got uh, vanilla here. And here we have lemon extract. And of course we got the baking powder, right? So this is my way of doing it. You guys can follow if you want, or if you have your own way, let me know how you do yours. I have my egg here, I'm breaking them one at a time, just in case one go bad, so I can separate them, right? That's the whole idea. Most of the time over here we don't get bad eggs anyway, but still, you're not gonna take the chance, right? Why take the chance when you can avoid it? So I was able to break all my egg and get it in my pot here, and I'm gonna start to mix it up. I'm using a mixer to go faster, right? I know some people prefer to use the spoon, but we have technology, right? Why not use it? So I got my egg the beat up already. I'm going in with one pound of sugar. Some people do it differently, like I was saying earlier, right? Let me know how you guys do yours. This is the order I'm doing it, but it doesn't matter what order you put it in for me. All right, family, so I got my uh, sugar mixed in here. That's my uh, brown demerara sugar there. Butter, going in with butter there. What kind of butter? Imperial. This is the Imperial Bacon Butter. I guess this is what they recommend to use for bacon. Let's go ahead and mix this up. So I got my butter mixed up here. Take a look there, Rita. See how nice it comes out there? Mm -hmm. And here I'm going to go in with my flour while mixing. I don't want all the flour to get uh, stuck on place, right? Eventually it'll get mixed, but it makes it easier. Alright, so I got my flour mixed in here. I'm going in with some nutmeg, some uh, ground nutmeg there. If you want, you can use the fresh one too, right? We're making a uh, Rita feel sorry for me today. She didn't give me hard work. She gave me the ground nut. What is it? Yeah. And same thing with the cinnamon here. We got the ground cinnamon here. I'm going to do that with about a half a teaspoon or so. We also got the baking powder. We got about a spoon and a half of uh, baking powder. I'm going to get that in there to mix it up. Here we got the vanilla. It's about a half a spoon or so. And here I got the lemon extract. Um, Rita not like when I put rum inside. She said anything too strong for she, she not drink rum. So she not like rum like me, right? So we go in with this to cut out the ring from the egg. If you want, you can put it in together with the egg, but it doesn't matter what step you put it in, right? Or what order you put things in. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. Okay, 
and yeah this is also a substitute for the lemon zest right or the orange skin so yes guys i got a, a pong of a brown raisin and a pong of the black one and a half a pong of cherry i also soak it with guyana rum there i'm gonna drop a clip to show you guys when i was getting my uh, when i was stacking up on my guyana rum let me stack up early for christmas i'm gonna show you guys the bar how it stack up too right all right so i got some uh, grind up here already i'm gonna go ahead and add this in some people put it in whole um it's optional right how you want to do it i like it this way and what happened when i was um when you were doing it <laughs> rita thought she was recording but she wasn't oh my god <laughs> it's all right all fun do it do it a little more fine or no you know what then too fine right no i don't too fine you want to eat a little bit of the chunk but if you want it finer it doesn't matter we can make it finer your call or i'm making it to your liking of course your wish is my command what do you say? You gotta make it how we eat it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, so Rita said she wanted it a little bit finer. So we're gonna give it a little bit more than 30 seconds. Yes. Like it like this? Yeah. All right. All right, so just the way Rita like it. All right, guys, so this fruit has been soaking there for about uh, two days, right, Rita? And Rita just take on smell just like so. Oh my god, I'm not gonna be able to eat this. This is like real guy in a rum cake. Yes, or what? I go to <laughs> smell it, it drunk me, instant drunk. All right, so you don't need to drink tonight, just take a smell and you'll be all good. Yeah, so the mixing is done here. Check this out how it comes out there. Looks real good there. The cherry give it a nice flavor, right? Here, I got my pan greased up with a little bit butter, sprinkled with some flour. So, I got three pan here. I'm gonna load this up. My oven is already warm up. I'm gonna load it up. And I put it in the oven to bake. Once it's done, I'll show you guys. Yeah, so I got the cake in the oven. In the meantime, the cake is baking. I'm gonna get some, make some ginger beer. So I got some fresh ginger here, a little bit more than half pound. I peel it up a little bit. I didn't peel it completely. Uh, let's see if we all can fit. Maybe not all. I'm gonna do it two part. I'm gonna grind this up. And we're gonna make some nice ginger beer here. Ginger beer and cake, fruit cake does go really, really good. So I got ginger, water, a uh, cinnamon stick or spice and some whole clove there so let's grind up this ginger and this is the organic ginger i had a hard time peeling it yes yes this is the organic ginger and they didn't recommend peeling it to when you're using it for cooking yeah why just give it a light scrape all right let's go take a look there see how this comes on the mouth small on a mug maybe you have a hard time and we're gonna keep this till Christmas time to use it, so it's gonna be well cured. All right, so I'm gonna put my ginger in here and then add my water. I'm not making a lot, just a small mug here. Oh, I think that's enough. Don't put more, don't blend more. Okay, then this is good. Yeah, it came out a lot. Well, I gotta get strong ginger, ginger beer, girl. Yeah, bro, but that's a lot. Look, it's half and half. All right, Rita. Rita don't want me to drink too strong ginger. Anyway, ginger good for you. Not gonna hurt you. All right. What so, is good for? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna take uh, Rita advice, and we're gonna use half of half of the amount there. All right. So here, like I said, I got a two piece of cinnamon here. You will get hard time for open thing, broke thing. Thank God, man, I got broke this clove. I'm going to this clove hole. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna add this water in. Very simple to make, right? And we're gonna let this soak. So once this is soaked, you can remove what you need, a glass or a glass and a half, two glass, depends how much you want to drink. And you strain out the ginger from it and add a little bit of sugar to your liking, right? Alright, so this is good here. We're gonna let this uh soak. Yes, yeah, so you don't want to um, put sugar on the whole container. Right, Because right. it's going to go bad. Right, so once I take my glass out, I'll sweeten that and drink that. Yeah, make sure you strain it though. It's okay, man. Ginger is good too. You can drink a little bit of ginger. That's fine. But um, the ginger is going to lose its stuff into it and get into the water. So we can strain it off, right? Yep. All right, so we'll let this soak uh, overnight or until Christmas. Depends on how long you want it soaked. Yes, family. Today I'm making some nice crackete. 
I spent like three hours yesterday cleaning this thing. I pre seasoned it a little bit. So I'm gonna make some nice crackete. And this crackete come from Blackbush. My cousin went to Guyana and she brought this back for me. So thank you, Samantha. So these are all my ingredients I get here, fam, that I'm gonna be using. And I got my masala curry powder, turmeric, green seasoning, garlic, pepper, onion, bay leaf, curry leaf. So let's get this show on the road, family. Let me add in some oil. Not a lot. You can check it out and see. All right, just a small pinch of oil there. And I am using this big curry here because I'm so in love with it. I buy it at Spice Wall in, on Liberty Avenue because I feel that it's not no oil or anything spilling on the stove. So as you finish cooking, you don't have to clean or nothing. Okay. Even though it's a small portion, I love it. So, Cousin Vic, say, seems like you are retired from cooking. So I guess you're coming out of retirement today. He said that? Mm hmm. When? A while back. Oh, no, 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 no. Just because Krishna don't eat crackate, so that's why I'm cooking it today. Alright, so we get the oil warm up there. Rita is going in with her uh, surgeon or meche meche, Rita like to say. I didn't wait for the oil to be too hot. Okay, you don't want to pitch up too much, even though it's not gonna come mm. out from the car here, right? No, 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 because. I learned this, my mom said not to do it because then it smell the house up more. You know, I got a big vent here and everything, but I, I, I noticed it worked. So we got those uh, fried up there. We're going in with the curry powder, the masala, and some turmeric. We're also gonna go in with the green seasoning and the ground garlic. And of course some water to make the paste. Krishna, every time you cook yourself, every day you go try this again, every day you go try this, Krishna go try this. <laughs> you know, I say yes, yes, or me go say yes, yes, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but you never try, so me go just tell you yes, you know. I'm going to some bouillon, chicken bouillon. Chicken bouillon? Yes. This is croquette, man, why are we going to chicken bouillon? Yes, meat, some meat tenderizer. Check this out, I got this from Casco. Or some Old Bay seasoning. Everything you gotta flavor this thing up, man. All right, seems like it's gonna taste good. It's already smelling. I'm going with average, right? And of course, some parsley flakes. Okay, let me do this way. This thing does get hard time to come out. You know this, right? You know this. It's okay. <laughs> All right, I think you gotta open the whole cover. Yeah, but oh, you I don't some? want much here. All right, you got some. It's a decent hole. This up. Check it out, guys. All right, curry smelling good. Call it curry smelling good. Yeah, I'm gonna let it sit down for two minutes and then I'm going with the fricassee or the snail or Gary. Check out the masala, the masala well and bunji. Now we're gonna chunky the fricassee, the exotic meat, the rare meat in America, right? Is yeah. it meat? Yeah, it's meat, right? Or fish? What is it considered from the water? I don't know. I didn't add in salt yet because all those stuff consists a lot of salt inside. That's our, our yeah, all those seasoning have a, a high mm -hmm. amount of salt. So we don't eat a lot of salt either. So check it out, fam. I'm gonna slow down the heat a little bit, right? And cover it in a bunja, and then I'm gonna add in some hot water. So yes, family. Let's see what we have here. Rita, like you going paper bag fry rice, there, girl? Yes. I'm, I'm jealous now. I'm jealous now. <gasps> Look. What Sapadilla. is that? Sapadilla, right? Sapadilla, yes, yes. Sapadilla. Think it's ready? Ready to go? This one is not ready. This one is ready. That one is ready. Oh, this one is ready too. Oh, you make all ready one time. All right, so yeah. now let's try one. Let's try this one because this one more wrinkly. Okay, so this is Sapadilla from Guyana. I'm not sure if it grows in any other country. Yeah. Probably Jamaica, right? We had it in Jamaica. We had it in Jamaica. We had it in Saint Martin. 
Okay, yeah, my bad. In the Caribbean, so it's mostly from the Caribbean. Yeah, but I think it, it uh, we had it in Bahamas, but I think it's imported because Bahamas is so hot, I don't think they produce much. Okay. Yeah, so I have some wine here. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. So guys, I call it a secret how to lose weight. How to lose weight. You don't have to do nothing, right? No diet, no nothing. You just sit down and you just shake your head like this. You know why you're shaking your head like this? If you see somebody passing with this food here, you just shake your head like this and you're going to be skinny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So let's so cut into this. So I guess it's a head exercise. <laughs> All right, so where did you get this from, Rita? You want to tell us the location? Oh, we get this from Ali's West Indian store on Bloomfield Avenue. Yeah, Ali West Indian, an American store right here in New Jersey, Belleville, New Jersey, and Bloomfield Avenue. You guys can go check them out, right? Yes, family. You, you mention my name and you get 10%. You, you have to peel it like this, right? Mm -hmm. Some people peel it, some people just bite it and you leave the skin. They bite and then they leave towards the skin. Rita and I remember how we didn't think they say Rita come over when she was a baby. No, oh, I was 17. Still a baby. In the sweet. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, are you remember how you taste in a uh, Caribbean? Yeah, in the outer Caribbean, oh my god, you go in the skin. When you put it like this, right? Mm -hmm. And you go for a thing, the whole skin gets sucked in. But yeah, I want Krishna to try it. In the sweet for me. So, yeah, that's my honest opinion. Maybe because you drink the wine, man. No, this is um not a sweet wine. Oh, okay. Alright, let me give it a try. Alright, let me see what Rita say. Rita say in the sweet. Take out the seed. No, he's up to eat the seed too. And you get some like bumpy, bumpy stuff inside, right? The bumpy stuff is there, the grain. The grain is supposed to be there. No, not that, not the grain. I think maybe you need to yala a little bit more. That's why I, get I think it's forced, it. ripe. Yeah. It's probably forced because it traveled from uh, far away. But it's not bad. Still got the taste of sapadilla, but it could have been sweeter. Yeah, I think you want to ripe a little bit more. Maybe another day or two more, and then it's going to be good. That's how you feel a little hard stuff. But not bad. Now that we cut it, we got to finish it up, right? Yeah. Yeah, you could tell it's a little bit hard. I think you want it to go maybe a day or two more. Ethan, we should ask Ethan if you want to come try a piece. I don't think he will like it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, look at him and say, nah. <laughs> let's, let's, let's ask him though. Okay. So we just called on Ethan to try this exotic fruit. You want to know what is it? Yeah. It's called Sapadilla. It's from Guyana. It's called Sapadilla. Give Anna's opinion. Tastes like nothing. <laughs> it's, a, it's like pear then. It's supposed to be a little bit sweeter. But you never had it, so you wouldn't know. You like it? No, it just really tastes like nothing. Really? <laughs> it's like water. It's like watermelon with no flavor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, finish it up, man. Finish it up. Alright, that's okay if you don't want to finish it up. That's okay. You don't like it? What's What's your review on it? Your rating? A six, because it tastes like nothing. It tastes like water. Okay. Watermelon with no flavor. Let's, let's, let's get Jenna. <laughs> Jenna is not going to try it. Alright, thank you, Ethan. So, Jen. What's going on? Um... Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. We call you dong. So you could try that exotic fruit. It came from Guyana. Eat inside taste like watermelon and you love watermelon. Uh no thank you. Why? It looks so weird. Just like put your finger and just uh, lick it like that. I don't want to. Why? Firstly like the color is brown. And like it looks weird. I want to try it. Okay, definitely next year you're going to Guyana. Yay! So yes fam, let's check it out. 
I still didn't get the rest of the Christmas decoration yet. Still waiting on Amazon. What happened, Krishna? Like you blocked my card or what? You know, say you want me to take you somewhere, man. Look, I'm not going to take you now. I'm bring the Eiffel Tower to you. You're not going to go to Paris. Bring I don't want to go to Paris. Bring Paris to you. I don't want to go to Paris. Oh, you say you want to show your bar? Okay, yeah, yeah. Come, come, check out, check out. So this, I, I went to the store today to stack up. And look what damages me do already. Me walk on the 15 here. And me walk a little bit on the 7 here. So I got a 21 here. 221 here. And a 15 there. And I got the uh, Hennessy White in the back there. This is the guy in a stack. And these are some other ones that I have here. Krishna, new thing is the Tito's now I see. And check out the inside there. Inside as well stacked up too. Oh, let's show them this. Tell them about this, Krishna. This beer seems like it's piled, but the pitch and the pile. Yeah, the beer is piled. <laughs> this, um, when we went to honeymoon in Cancun, the people were walking around asking us to take pictures. To see how we, we looked there? Close up, yeah. <laughs> it was, what is it? I can't see. September the, the 8th, 20, 2000, what? Six? 2006. It looked like 8, right? So we got a custom made Corona day. That one, me and Krishna was so skinny. Mm. Are we gonna start shaking our head now? All right, all right. Rita's still skinny, so I don't know what no. Rita is talking about. And we get more honey, right? No, no, this one, this one. What is that? This is a Bud Light I had from a Super Bowl Fifty when Super Bowl Fifty was playing. So this one is the fiftieth uh, edition of the Super Bowl, or fiftieth edition Bud Light there. Oh, get the other one that we get from DR. The we never use it. Or we try it out. We throw it out? No, it's here, but it's fade. This one they said is a, a mama wana. Oh, Jenna was just a baby. In yeah, a, check out Jenna. This 2012 when we went to Dominican Republic. 2012, but it out. yeah. I think they have the uh, bark in here, the tree bark. Oh, it says here, mama wana, Santiago. Uh, they said you got to pour um, water in it or, or liquor. I forget what they said. You got to pour something in there. I got to read it up and see. You gotta pour something in there and it's gonna come out good. But um, they warned me not to drink it in uh, the ER because we were four of us uh, over there. And they said, when you drink this in there, maybe when you come back, you're gonna come back with five people. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that is the the thing with in the air is the, the alcohol. All right, I think you gotta add water. I don't remember what they said. I gotta ask somebody, some uh, Dominican person to see. I don't remember how what to do anymore. But I think you gotta add something in there, let it soak, and then you drink it. Yes, fam. Krishna, what happened? You bring down all this music from outside. You're not even play something like it, dance and all, bye. You ready for dance? No problem. You can do something. You ready for jump up? Jump up? Let's check on the cricket. Eh? Check out the snail. Eh? Check out the snail. Let's eh? come down line. Eh? It's looking Gary. good, yeah. You're looking good. Looking good there. You're going to do this uh, bunjal style, right? Yeah, of course. Oh. Add in the water. We're going to add some hot water in there to make the... Uh, we're not going to make gravy, but to make it boil, right? Yeah, you want decent amount of water in this thing because you will um, wake up it. So a little bit on the stiffer side? Yeah. This meat mm -hmm. or fish, yeah. whatever you want to call it. Let me turn the stove up high. Alright, give it some good heat there. Alright, looks good. It smells good too. Maybe I'll, today will be the day I'll try it. And I'm good at making this thing because I got compliment a couple of times that I make it. And my, some of my friends, I make it for them too. Yes, family. So we got the fruit cake slash rum cake there. Rita is gonna dice it up there, and let's see how it looks there, Rita. Still hot. Still hot. Still hot. Smoking hot. Yeah, and this this is not the sponge cake, so it have to swell. This is rum cake, so it's normally flat. Check it out, fam. Looking real good. Take on bite, the man. Real nice. Not yet, man. Oh man, understand what you doing? You want to shake your head? Yes. You don't learn nothing, right? <laughs> All right. And we only did a pong. Yeah, it's early in the month, so we're gonna still do some more when it gets towards the end. Check it out, fam. Smell amazing. And check out, check out, check it out here. Krishna I used to buy this for what, like a little piece? Yeah, a whole uh, one of those slices, like what is it, five or ten hour? No, six hour. We used to buy a little piece like that in New Jersey here. Mm hmm. And then when we just get married, because when we get married, I never cook in my whole life, so I didn't know how to cook and stuff like that. So 
We used to buy everything. Now you're the export. We used to pay like half of this, like six dollars, right? Mm hmm. Around there, yeah. Yeah. And black, black, black. I think gooey, gooey, gooey. If I eat. So, guys, the croquette finished here or the snail here? Pachoni, bro. Okay, Pachoni. Rita outdid herself there. Oh my god, look at it. Looking Come on, Krishna. Good. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. And here with this dude have the nerve to tell me. He said to throw this curry he out. Why am I gonna throw my curry he out? I don't throw the curry he out when I cook there. I don't throw the curry out when you cook red meat. I don't eat duck and all those stuff. Okay. Check it out, guys. <laughs> Now we gotta get fresh car here, man. Because we need cricket. Yes. Okay. Good, good, good. And that way we have to go back to New York to buy more. All right, we'll have to go there. See you in New York. Yes. Yes, yes. And here is how the rum cake, fruit slash fruit cake come out there. Take a look there. See how you come out there. You look Amazing. real good there, right? Let's take a look and see here. I got the ginger beer soaking. So I want it to soak overnight. So I'm gonna let that soak. I'm not gonna try that today. Probably try it another day. So take a look at this here. There's a little piece there, see, the, the, the raisin and the cherry and stuff, we grind it up, make it nice and small. I know some of you guys like it whole, but this is the way I like it, so I get it spread uh, around the whole cake. And I got more in the back there, it's just a little piece, I'm going to try a piece here now. Make sure you get drunk, but man, you know, you have a walk in the morning. No, no. It's good. I think you're going to love this one, because Rita didn't want me to add too much rum. She said she don't like rum. The taste of rum. You can barely taste the rum, but with the raisin and everything here, give it a nice taste here, and it's very flavorful. And you know, this is rum cake and um, fruit cake, so we didn't make it too thick. You want to make it nice, so when you eat a nice piece here, it's very good. This is going to be a uh, gainsy because it's too much flavor, all these raisin and everything. It's very flavorful. You're not going to be able to eat a big piece. And this is what you call heaven. So Rita insists that I give a joke before I go, right? So here we go. There's a good a... one. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Uh, so there's a rich guy. He's uh, traveling to the Caribbean in uh, December month. He got a very expensive yacht. And he got his crew and everything. They're all traveling through the Caribbean. And the, uh, the captain didn't read the weather properly. And there was a huge storm. So they're going through the storm. The storm capsized the boat. Unfortunately... Only two survived, the owner and Jack, one of the uh, engineering from the uh, engine room. So they managed to swim to a deserted island. When they got to that island now, nobody is there. Like I said, it's a deserted island. So when they get to the deserted island now, the owner just throw back next to a tree and he just uh, relax. Jack couldn't help himself. He started crying. You know, this is a deserted island and he started worried. That, you know, we, nobody is going to ever find us in this island. So he come and talk to the owner. He said, how can you be so calm and relaxing? The owner said, I'm going to tell you a story. Listen carefully. Three years ago, I donated to one of the charity, top charity. I give them 500000 And the church that I go to, I also give them 500000 The next year, I did even better. So I give each charity 750000 And then the following year, I did even better. My company did well, and I also did well in the stock market. So I give each charity $1 million. It's this time of year again, where they're about to have the annual fundraiser. I'm sure they will find me. Here we stuck on my guy and around there. Check out the price. I hear some people calling my name. I hear some people calling my name. I hear some people calling my name. They're calling my name. Calling my name. Rick, 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 Rick. Some people say I am a loser. Do have to fail. We got some fresh mandarin here. Oh, look at this. I call this an hour. We got some nice guava here. Real nice, real nice. One probably wasting them. <laughs> Hope mom and try it now. No, thank you.
got some nice mango here from Mexico. Three for five dollars.